Well, good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to Savanac Forest. Um, I've come here today because the weather forecast was for fairly high. As you see, I've got sky with me again. Um, the weather forecast was for high uh, cloud uh, and pretty breezy, um, so not really uh, much chance of any uh, sort of decent bird photography. Um, so I thought I'd come to uh, do some woodland photography. It's now early March, so there's, there are no <laughs> guys investigated the camera. Um, so it's early March, so there aren't any, uh, any leaves on the trees yet. So it's all pretty stark and they're still in their, in their winter plumage, as it were. Um, but I thought with an overcast day like this, the, there might be an opportunity to sort of, sort of uh, some intimate woodland detail shots. Um, and they're probably the first signs of spring. Um, I would, I mean, snowdrops are, are still out, but they're pretty much over. Uh, but things like lesser celandine, perhaps, I might come across, and those sort of other early flowering uh, spring plants. So there might be some of that. There might be a few buds breaking open, that sort of thing. So, uh, and actually, the weather is slightly better than the forecast um, said. So. We're getting these sort of breaks in the cloud and a bit of sunshine. You can probably see the blue sky behind me. So uh, who knows, you know, the, the, you know, there might be some opportunities for, for, for something a little different, you know, maybe some, um, maybe some uh, sort of tree landscapes, that sort of thing. But we'll, we'll see what happens. But <clears throat> so woodland photography can be quite difficult. Um, lots of sort of clutter uh, and lots of things going on. So it's quite difficult sometimes to, to sort out those compositions, but we'll, we'll see how we go. Um, I've got all day, so that's the beauty of it today. Um, it very rarely happens that I, that I get all day. Um, so we'll just have a, 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 a wander around, see what we can find. In terms of the um, kit that I've got with me, I try to keep things to a minimum these days. Um, so I have, uh, I've got the 105 macro, I've got the 24 to 70 and I've got the 70 to 200. So um, those are the lenses that I brought with me today. I didn't want to bring too much. Plus I've got a, a, an LED uh, light panel as well, um, as I thought you know, that actually we might have less light than we actually appear to have, but who knows what changes throughout the day. The forecast is for it to stay dry at least. So uh, fingers crossed. Um, let's get out there and let's, let's see what we can find. Now, as you'll be able to see behind me, um, there's a great big uh, dead tree um, and they leave a lot of this stuff just standing and lying around the forest floor and that's great um, because it supports all sorts of invertebrates and fungi and all you know a whole ecosystem um, and those things help feed other things in the in the wood um, so for example th this morning I've been hearing uh, woodpeckers drumming uh, you know, ever since I got here, that one of the first things I heard was was drumming woodpeckers, um, and I hear green woodpecker calls. So obviously, they're both species here. Uh, maybe even lesser spot, who knows? But um, you know, that's uh, uh, unfortunately disappearing very quickly from my part of the world. Uh, but you know, that's very very important um, to leave decaying wood um, because it's an important part of a, a woodland ecosystem. Um, and this is such an important area um, of woodland, uh, and it's 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 great to see these old uh, these old trees, these old warriors, as I call them. Um, you know, there's lots of lovely ancient oak trees. Uh, many of them are named uh, in this forest, uh, and we may well come across one or two of those um, throughout the day. But uh, you know, oaks, oaks and beech in particular. Uh, anyway, let's see what we can find photographically. Okay, um, so as I was talking about that dead tree, I had a little wander around. I'd sort of put my bag down and sky is sort of, uh, as you can see, sun's coming in and out all the time. Uh, I put my bag down uh, and sky was having a little uh, run around and I, I thought I'd just investigate this dead tree because I, I quite like the shapes um, of the old bark and the holes. And I like images that tell a story and um, there's some old bracket fungi and things like that on this thing. So uh, anyway, I found my first, found my first shot. So I don't know whether you, well, you can obviously see that um, the sun's shining at the moment. I've got to wait for the uh, cloud cover to come and, and get rid of all those horrible, nasty shadows which are being cast by uh, a young beech tree, uh, which is uh, right next to this old warrior. Um, but basically, it's, in, it's a, going to be a vertical uh, composition, including uh, those two areas of, uh, of decaying bark on the left-hand side of the bracket fungus, uh, which are full of old beetle and invertebrate holes 
Um, and you've got, then you've got this sort of lovely decaying wood which has got all these sort of lovely fissures and lines and colours in it. So when that, uh, when that uh, sun pops behind the cloud, um, I'll, I'll take the image, I'll show you it on the back of the camera in a second. Uh, but as you can see, look at it come to life as that light disappears. So uh, yeah, I'll show you it on the back of the camera now. Uh, so there it is on the back of the camera. Um, <coughs> at the moment it's saying one sixth of a second at f11. f11 is a sweet spot for this particular lens. Um, ISO 100. Um, I think I'll probably have to alter the shutter speed a little bit. The light's coming and going. Um, but as you'll see, I want to get rid of those nasty um, shadow areas. Uh, so I have to wait for the sun to disappear behind the cloud. Um, but there we are. I'll show you the, the tripod setup. Look at my battered old tripod. What an old warrior that is. Um, <clears throat> but as you, you can see the composition, um, and I'll, I'll take that image when the sun dips behind the cloud and, uh, and, and show you the result. Okay, so would you look at this? I mean, as Sky is investigating, uh, there are compositions all over the place here. Look at these lo the lovely shapes of these trees. I mean, in more atmospheric conditions, this would be you know, an absolute gold mine. But I'm going to spend some time uh, here in this spot and just see what I can, I can find. I mean, I can already picture one or two things in my, in my mind. I mean, look at the shape of this tree, for example. And can you hear that wren singing in the background? Um, I've already seen great spotted woodpecker about and there's some very owly looking holes in the trees in these old oaks as well so you know, I'm sure that's uh, I'm sure that's home to uh, to some tawnies but there there are photographic possibilities all over I mean look at the sun just coming now beautiful side lighting uh, on those trees really giving it some depth now uh, anyway I'm going to spend a little bit of time uh, just see if I can work out a few few compositions here so would you just look at that I mean, what an amazing piece of wood! Look at the um, look at the ridges and the textures on this on this wood. And what caught my eye was this this thing. I mean, it's full of knots and and bits and pieces. But look at that! It looks like a whale eye that's weeping, uh, quite poignant in a way, for what's happening in the world. quite good to use the phone actually to try and frame a few a few possibilities as you can see that you know the the light is changing all the time um, but what an amazing setting if you get the chance to come here I thoroughly recommend it um, it is amazing and I think actually there might be something um, and the uh, use for the uh, 70 to 200 here as well uh, to try and compress perspectives um, and cut out that sky because that's what you want you want details you know, a little bit like that, uh, that fallen branch in the background there, just sort of centre of the frame now. Um, but anyway, what an amazing place. OK, so I've got another shot lined up. Uh, as you can see, I've got my glasses on. I've been um, uh, looking at the live view to see how it all sort of shapes up. Uh, top tip for you, by the way, never, ever take an expensive pair of glasses when you're photographing things. Buy a cheap pair <laughs> because I'm forever losing them and stepping on them or whatever. So, um, yeah. If you uh, do that with a 600 pound pair of glasses, you'd be, um, wouldn't be very happy. So, um, so basically I've got a composition, the sun looks like it might come in a minute. Do you see this, uh, I'll get it right, that there behind me, um, these sort of broken, that broken limb looks really good through a 200 mil lens. Um, I can cut out the sky. Um, and I think once the light is right, uh, it'll look quite nice. been rather amazed at tree bark uh, particularly sort of old trees it's kind of fascinating you know the shapes and the um, uh, and the patterns that it makes um, I have to admit I was just taking a comfort break actually <laughs> um, 
and I was sort of drawn to the uh, patterns in this uh, this old oak. Um, isn't that amazing with all that, those mosses and the fissures and the uh, you know the, those bits of bark? So anyway, I've taken this image, as you can see, um, it's uh, I've, well, it's at uh, one eighth of a second f14, just to make sure I've got plenty of depth of field. I'm fairly flat um, on you know in the aspect. Um, you know, in terms of the the lens plane um, so you know depth of field shouldn't be an issue anyway uh, ISO 100 is on a tripod and uh, two second timer so yeah um, quite an interesting image I, I quite like the way the lines you know down this side um, hold it in and and again you know on the on the uh, on the right hand side so yeah quite quite pleased with that see how it works out Okay, Sky and I just took a break and we had a nice cup of tea and a sandwich and she had a nice drink of water. Um, so we're back out again um, and only yards from the car park again. I, I sort of came off the main path because this place, as nice as it is, is absolutely full of dog walkers. So it's nice to get off the beaten track a little bit um, and just do your own thing. Um, but I came across uh, a fungus which is unusual for March. It's not really fungi season, of course, but this is sort of a rather uh, dried specimen of, of turkey tail, but actually the colors are really nice. Um, and it's quite flat uh, on a, an old cut um, tree. So it's an old section um, of tree. Um, and I'll show, you, I'll show you that in a sec. So it's actually quite awkward to get to because uh, it's underneath the tree, but look at that. Look at all those lovely colors. And if I go in really close, you can see the sort of composition that I'm thinking about. Uh, I just think that's really interesting. So let's we'll get the macro lens out and, uh, and see how that looks. Okay, so this is the next shot that um, really caught my eye. You can see all these sort of lovely mosses growing on um, decaying wood again. Um, and basically I've um, shot it directly from above. So sort of from this position, you can see all those sort of lovely, you know, the heads of everything. It just forms a nice uniform pattern. Um, I'll show you on the back of the camera um, what it looks like. So, so basically that's what we've got um, and I've got it at uh, 1 20th of a second uh, f9 ISO uh, 100 on the tripod. Um, I'm also going to try some compositions, probably handheld actually, from sort of down here and shooting with the macro lens through like that, sort of get something in focus in the foreground or uh, halfway through the frame and anyway I'm going to play around with it, I'll probably do this, this handheld because it's the best way to a frame of composition you have to keep moving around the tripod makes it very awkward uh, for this type of shot but uh, anyway uh, we'll see how we get on very flattering name for a mighty old tree really is it old paunchy um, but what a tree and another one in the background there as well um, the light keeps coming and going today um, it's quite nice actually when the Sun comes out and plays on these on these trees um, difficult to get some compositions but um, I found one that I think well it might work um, there you see those lines of, um, of bracket fungus um, basically I was thinking about doing a vertical probably from over here um, to get them in a nice sort of diagonal um, but do a portrait shot so kind of like this 
Uh, so that that's the idea. Looks quite good on the phone. Um, we'll see whether it works or not. So there it is on the back of the camera. Um, I quite like the composition actually. It looks quite nice. Um, I said F16 to try and get as much depth of field as possible. Get, I mean, it's quite close with a, and on the sort of 70 mil end of the 24 to 70, um, and that's one sixth of a second ISO 100 uh, and a two second timer. So we'll see how that looks. So Sky and I have had a really lovely day today. Um, we're just about to head back to the car, I think, have a cup of tea, grab a sandwich, uh, you know, and get going uh, back home. But uh, a fantastic day. Um, we've taken things from sort of intimate uh, woodland details through to some scenics. Wasn't the best weather, to be honest, for, for that sort of thing, but it was certainly better than I was expecting. Um, I you know, could do could do with a bit of mist or some some atmosphere like that and perhaps sort of uh, come back another time another time of year I mean autumn would be an awesome time to come here with all that color and the fungi and perhaps a possibility of some autumnal mist uh, you can just imagine it so uh, so we'll be back that's for sure you know it's it's a place that I've I've visited quite a few times but I've not even scratched the surface of it yet so I hope you've I hope you enjoyed you know the video and I hope you enjoy the pictures um, do subscribe to the channel um, do hit the bell icon which will give you notifications of new videos as and when they're posted uh, give us the thumbs up and uh, leave all your leave comments down below about the images and about the video in general because all those things really help the YouTube algorithm find us and broadcast us to uh, to a wider audience so that would really be appreciated anyway thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again next time well, would you know, I was on my way back to the car with Sky, um, and all of a sudden this caught my eye, this sort of way the uh, light was catching that, um, this uh, broken branch here. Um, and I just love this tree. I mean, this, this wood is just so full of character. But when the light is shining a bit more brightly, then, um, you know, those sort of backlit edges really sort of stand out. Um, I've sort of underexposed the shot quite a bit um, to emphasize that uh, and I've taken two um, so I've, I've you know I'm not including any of the sky or that's not my intention um, so I guess you know the line will, will come across there and you know this you know this will be the anchor point for the left hand side of the frame there'll be a reasonable amount of, uh, of this broke of this sort of uh, dead bracket in the foreground and then you've got these two trees strong trees on the right hand side which will anchor the frame there so yeah, I'm hoping that'll work um, we'll see I'll stitch those two shots together and uh, you know I think that actually might be the shot of the day mm -hmm.